Hello friends, in this video, I will explain about the schema change tracking and optimize schema concepts in PEGA. So, PEGA main intention is everyone can use this tool to design and develop an applications. So, usually in a software development, people must have a programming language knowledge must have a programming language knowledge in the sense uh, they have a how to interacting with the database etc usually but uh, pega moto pega intention is not like that everyone anyone can work on this tool by understanding the tool just by understanding the tool or just by understanding the features are present in the tool that's it so as are, I am working, I want to learn Pega. So um, must have, a, so should I must have a database knowledge, sir? I can say no, because if I can say yes, sir, that is not Pega intention. That is not a Pega tool intention and Pega systems intention. Why? Because even BS also can use this tool. Everyone can use this tool. So because it's a most user friendly tool, but if you want to dig into the what is behind the tool, then the technical knowledge, people who are having the technical knowledge is additional advantage to understand or to dig into this tool. Okay, for example, if you purchase a TV, okay, on, off, purpose, what are the options, what are the features, etc. But if you try to understand the circuit of the TV, okay, electrical engineers or electronics people who have a knowledge so they can easily understand or else if you want to understand go and learn electronics first then you can go and open the circuit of the tv similarly if you want to understand here also the technology behind this you must have a technical knowledge without a technical knowledge how can you understand the technology behind this tool it's a just a basic thing right okay so coming back to this our original topic um, uh, my intention is okay pega is an application which is interacting with database are i don't have a database knowledge what shall i do you no need to worry you no need to worry understand the features of the application if you want to add a column you no need to have a database knowledge you can add a column by using the property optimization everyone aware of it Similarly, similarly, if you want to see the changes are happened on the database side, usually what are the changes happened on the database side in your Pega application? So usually what people will do, people will connect it to the database and people should connect it to the database and people should verify the tables and schema, uh, schema changes, etc everything you no need to touch the database you no need to touch the database why because why because pega intention is pega feature thoughts are also different why because uh, some people work on the cloud some people work on the on premises applications so on premise applications uh, can contacting with database tools can contacting with the database and they can add a new column delete a columns and they can modify the schema changes on their database but in case of cloud that is not suggestible that is not possible okay you must reach out to the pega support team and whatever the schema changes you required ideally but uh, i mean to say in that case what shall i do every time i need to check with pega team and uh, whether this column is present or not whether the what are the changes are happened in this table or not etc blah 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 okay so my even pega intention is everything you can monitor everything you can do it everything in the sense okay everything in the sense okay some changes may not be possible as per my understanding i may not be wrong sometimes also because i am not a uh, writer and author of the pega tool okay so uh, please give excuse me uh, if i i mean if i tell mistakenly okay but uh, uh, Pega intention is everything you can do it, everything you can monitor from the Pega Dev Studio. Okay, now my intention is, my requirement is whether that column is present in the database table or what are the changes are happened 
to a specific database table how do you find out all these things so go to the configure uh, system database there is an option called it as a schema change tracking schema change tracking see here uh, make your drop down selection to see the state of the tables columns and other elements in the prpc database and the schema alterations performed on them so your friend will perform your teammate will perform your project manager will perform some dba team will perform or etc other team members will perform etc but my intention is i want to find out the changes are happened on the schema so find out what is the prpc shipped okay that means prpc shipped means okay by default which are come up with prpc prpc generated pega is generated or manual or manual irrespective of that i have selected all the types now see here what is the database name pega data schema name data prpc version column entity type column entity name database table what happened on this database table add a column one new column is added performed by performed by modified database schema performed by how it was performed modified database schema for example here from here i i can add a new column pega data click on next so the table name okay sbi loan work click on okay if i want to add a new column for example uh pva rule starts uh okay and create a selected column that's it see now go to the schema change tracking just a refresh all see this one okay pva rule set start column is added how it was added modify database schema from the modified data schema okay and uh, okay like this for example now go to my app work car loan data model i have so many properties so you can you can open any property now here what i am doing is for example f date now go to the actions optimize for reporting okay click on next click on next okay finish that's it now go to the database someone is someone is did this one but you don't know suddenly because you cannot monitor right easily that's why pega is provided an option called as a schema change tracking just click on refresh here okay see this one new column is added by using the property optimization so similarly so uh, pega data data modify column by using the import modify column by using the import uh, and modify column add column so like this there are lot of operations so you can easily find out uh, uh, what are the schema changes are happened see this one create a table in a new class rule for example new table got created in this schema in this schema pega data new table got created in the pega data so everything uh, create a table import by using the import option so like this uh, you can monitor easily what are the schema changes are happened on the pega database side okay i hope you understand this concept next one is optimize schema so even pega is suggesting you even you don't have a database expert you should not have a database administrator okay you should not have a pls plsql developer you should not have a knowledge on the performance improvement on the database side pega itself is suggesting you to do this see this one by selecting the database in this field uh, uh, the sections below will suggest optimization leading to positive effects in the system performance and resource utilization okay but don't do it blindly also sometimes uh, uh, check with uh, 
I mean, LSA will take care of all these things if there is any performance degrade related to the database, etc. But Pega is suggesting uh, whatever the Pega is suggesting these changes, you can find it out uh, by using from the optimized schema. So now we have a Pega data. So see this one. If you want to see unused columns, so what is the purpose of maintaining the unused columns? You can simply go and delete those columns from those tables. So usually you can find it out all those information from the optimized schema. So the very simple, just open the tool, explore the options, identify the purpose of each and every option, how you are exploring your smartphone how you are exploring the smartphone what are the features what are the apps etc uh, etc et similarly just open the dev studio or open login into the pega application explore the tool you will get a knowledge first what are the features are present in your tool or not then try to understand or correlate with the architecture try to understand the architecture how the rule is executing blah 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 etc okay now see these many columns are not using you can go and simply delete the columns proceed with changes i don't want this column to be maintained Okay, submit. Do you want to proceed with selected changes? The column will be deleted on the database side. Okay, column enrollment in the table was dropped. Okay, so uh, view unused columns. Like this, you can find it out uh, unused columns. Um, uh, at the same time, view the unused tables. What is the purpose of maintaining the unused table? Simply drop those tables. Okay, view unused tables. So these many tables are not using. View the index suggestions. Very, very important usually. The content shown in the below table display the uh, which are not associated with any PRPC class. Is it is possible that these tables were either created manually or the classes originally associated with the tables are not available. Removing these tables from the database will make the schema cleaner and contribute to the better space utilization. Obviously, right, uh, even when you create a table in the database also, it occupies some space by default. Even without uh, having the data in the table also by default, uh, having some space. Okay, the DBA administrators will give the more details about all those things. Uh, okay. See this one, view the index suggestions. The content shown below suggests that the creation of the indices on various columns based on the usage and the frequency in the report definition. While proceeding with the new indices creation, please consider the following factor. Execution frequency and average number of records involved in the report decision in which property, etc. So the view index suggestions. So in this table, existing index count 3 usage count 17 so if you want to create a new index on this table also because pega is suggesting view the index suggestions like that uh, so that it will improve the performance because obviously index will improve the performance but too many indexes also we should not create it that is also another drawback because related to the performance okay we should not create uh, too many indexes so for example, data PCSN worklist PX application. So if you want to add an index, you can. So view index suggestions. So I hope you understand what is the benefit of optimize the schema feature in PECA. OK.